So we're going to start um, lying on your back, knees bent and feet hip width apart. And we'll just do a quick check in from head to tail. So feel the weight of the back of your head nice and heavy on the floor. Like a line straight from your nose to the back of your skull. And then feel a nice easy light curve in the back of the neck. Nice heavy shoulder blades and ribs. Feeling a heavy chest. And then another nice light curve in your lower back and then feel the weight of your hips and your tail on the ground. And now I want you to think of um, your sitting bones as being the base of a triangle and your head being the apex. And just bear that in mind, so your spine is running through the middle of all of that. And just take a few deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth. And just notice what happens naturally when you breathe out. So you're decreasing volume, right? So things are tightening in. So we're going to enhance that by thinking of a seat belt being tightened around your hips. So you're pulling your hip bones together as you breathe out. And the same idea in the rib cage, just gently pulling the ribs towards each other as you breathe out, nothing forced. Okay, another one like that, in through the nose, out through the mouth and just feel that one narrowing to your center line. Okay, so adding on to that, I want you to imagine your pelvis is like a little triangle table with a martini sitting on it. Take a breath in, and then as you breathe out, narrow in and then tilt your pelvis under, so you're like spilling that martini. And then inhale, very carefully set the glass back upright. Inhale, exhale, narrowing, scoop and spill. And then come back. One more like that, exhale, scoop. And back. So we're going to continue that into a bridge. If you have any bone density issues, don't do this one. Just keep doing pelvic tilts. So exhale, scoop. Keep going up, peeling through your spine. When you get to the top, I want you to feel your knees reach forward and your heels reach back. Because so you're creating like a hook with your legs so that your weight doesn't go into your neck and you feel your hamstrings working. Roll through the spine gently, nothing forced. Just engaging the abdominals a little to help and then inhale, lengthen away. Exhale, scoop, continue to roll. Inhale at the top, knees forward, heels backward, and then roll down, nice and easy. Just feel if that one's a little better than the first one, a little easier. Once more, exhale, scoop. Inhale once you get to the top, and last time down. And back. So going back to this idea of your little table with your martini on it here, I'm going to try not to move that as you just let your right knee open to the side. So you want to make sure you don't spill and then come back in. And you also want to pay attention to the opposite leg, that it doesn't want to open to sort of give you a counterweight, right? So you want to really use this to steady yourself. One more time. Exhale as you open. And back. On to the other side, exhaling out. Inhale back. And again, just do natural range, you're not trying to force anything. And in. One more. Now you're going to lift your right leg up so your knee is above your hip joint. And then place it down. Do the other leg. Lifting up, making sure you don't round your lower back to do that, but you keep the martini still. And if one also really feel the thigh bone just dropping down in the socket. One more each way. So you're really just moving at the hip joint, nowhere else. Good. Now reach your arms up to the ceiling, bring your attention to your shoulders and your ribcage. So inhale, you're going to reach the arms up so the shoulder blades come apart. And then exhale, pull them both down. And I want you to think about the lower part of your shoulder blade. So as you go up, it's moving away from your spine. And as you come back, it's toward the spine. Inhaling up. Exhaling down one more. Inhaling up. And exhaling back. Good. Relax the arms down. And now glide your shoulder blades up and back down. Feel how your collarbones get narrower and then wider. Up and away. One more. And now 
reach both arms to the ceiling. Take a breath in. And you're going to reach your arms back towards your head as you exhale. Being careful that the ribs don't pop open, right? But you're just moving your arms. And come back up as you inhale. And again, exhale, reaching them back. And up. Once more, reach back. Feel like your armpits are trying to face up towards the ceiling. And then come back. Now from here, you're going to open your arms out wide if you have room in your apartment. I'm going to run into some stuff here. And then as you come back in, keep your collarbones nice and open. And again, reaching out wide. And back up. And again, reaching out. And up. And now just put your left hand down and lift your right leg up. So think of that triangle, apex here, and then the base is your sitting bones. And now I just want you to think about keeping your shoulder blades steady. And you're going to exhale, reach your right arm back and your right leg forward. Inhale back. Twice more. Just trying to steady the whole trunk against the movement of the limb. Now switch hands, but keep the same leg. And just feel the difference when it's on the opposite side to the same side. Once more. Down, lift the left one up. So same side, blow them away, sniff them back in, blow them away, sniff them back in, and put the arm down, take the other one up, three more, and in, once again, and then place everything down. Take a breath in here. As you breathe out, you're going to do that pelvic tilt, so spill the martini. Inhale, lift your right leg up. So this is what we call tabletop, knee over hip. Exhale, left. Inhale, lower right. Exhale, lower left. Inhale. Exhale, spill the martini. Inhale, lift left. Exhale, right. Inhale, lower left. Exhale, lower right, inhale. One more, exhale, scoop it in. Right one up, left one up and hold it there. Now, you're gonna move your thigh bone. So feel your thigh bone fall forward and come back in. Other side, blow it away, sniff it back in. So your knee angle doesn't change, you're changing the angle from your thigh to your trunk. And again, scoop it in. So maybe your foot will touch the floor, maybe it won't, doesn't matter. Hold it there, lower one leg at a time, and then just come up for a minute. So we're gonna do a hip flexor stretch. So I've got a couple of um, bath towels, roll them up into a sausage, and then you're gonna lie, so it's at the top of your pelvis. Okay, so it's putting you into that tilt. And then I want you to think of the distance between your hips and ribs being as short as possible. You're going to exhale and reach your right leg out as far as you can so you get a nice little stretch across the front here and some work in the back. Twice more that side. And make sure the hip bone doesn't follow the thigh bone, right? So keep the thigh and hip away from each other and coming in. Now the other side. Slide gently, pull the belly in and back. And slide out and back. Once again, and back. Okay, we're gonna set that off to the side for a minute. Keeping the knees bent, you're gonna come up into a bridge, but this time you're just gonna lift up, so you're unfolding your hip joints, and then you're gonna fold them back down. So unfold, and then fold. And again, so keep those knees forward and heels back, and down, one more up, and back down, and rest there. Now, straighten out your right leg. Get it to a point where you start to feel a stretch, where you really have a straight knee. If you want, you could use a strap around your foot to help you stretch. And then once you've found your stretch here, I want you to flex your foot so your heel goes up, and then your toes go up. Heel, toes, heel, heel. Good, and then bring 
bring that down, take the other one up. So find the point where you feel a stretch. There's no final destination. And then heel, toe, heel, toe. Good. Bring that down and turn onto your side now. And just have your hands clasped gently behind your head, so over the base of the skull. And as you change your position, make sure that your triangle is still a triangle and you didn't kind of collapse at the top, right? Keep long so you have a waist. Inhale, lift the top arm, and exhale, just open your chest and armpit to the ceiling. Allow your head to go with you, and then come back up and over. And again, inhale up, and open, and back, and in. Once more, up and open. Hold it here, now if you'd like to get a little extra stretch, you can reach your arms out from fingertip to fingertip, take an extra breath. Exhale, reach, and then come back over. Okay, let's swing that over to the other side. So nice and square, lengthen the hip away. Inhale, lift up, and exhale, stretch. And again, notice if there's difference between the sides. Just be aware of that. And back. Once more. Up and open, then you can take a little extra stretch, reach out through the fingertips, and coming back over. Good, okay, so making your way onto your front one, hands um, up by your face, nice wide elbows, and think about your relationship to gravity here, don't let your abdominals collapse so you get into the back, you wanna feel that narrowing hips and ribs that we did when we were lying on our back. So inhale, you're gonna pull your shoulders wide. Exhale, continue to pull the shoulders wide as you send your chest and head forwards and up. So you're really trying to curve the upper part of the spine. And then come back down. Let your shoulders relax. Pull them away. Reach them up. And then back down. One more like this. Pull the shoulders back. Lift and down. Now place your left hand under your forehead, right hand, palm to leg, and turn your head so you're looking under your left armpit. Then you're gonna roll your right shoulder back, rotate your chest, and reach the little finger side back, and then come down. Twice more here, rotate and lift, and back down. Once more, rotate and lift up, and down. Good, change to the other side. So head under the right armpit, and then rotate and lift, and back. Rotate, lift, and back. One more. Good, now bring the hands back to where they were at the beginning. Have the legs wide now, but wider than your own shoulders. And then you're gonna press your elbows back, head and chest forward. And this time keep going, but make sure you're still moving your upper back. So you're not just sinking into your lower back. Twice more, forward and up. So it feels very circular and around coming down. One more. And that way you can get a nice stretch through the hips again. And back. Sit back from there, just like a back relax moment. And then come to all fours. Again, you wanna make sure that you're still feeling that gently pulling together of the ribs and hips here so you don't give in to gravity, right? Now we're gonna do a little cat stretch. So exhale, rounding your tail and your head, trying to go an even amount. Don't overdo the top because then it becomes more like a buffalo than a cat. And come back. And again, tail and head trying to move equal amounts. So you get that nice stretch through here. And lengthen. Once more, and away. Now take both hands to the right side of your mat, but keep both sit bones reaching straight back. Now round again and feel like your sitting bones are coming towards your heels, and then reaching away. Sit bones, or almost to the back of your knees. Once more, and now over to the other side. Sit bones reaching back, and then pull them down to the backs of the knees, and away. One more. Now bring your hands back, and you're going to fold.
fold at your hip joints. Hinge back. Imagine if you had a tail, it'd be wagging up in the air doing this. You're just moving at the hips. And then on the last one here, you can just allow everything to drop down. And then pull your abdominals in. And roll yourself up to 